Can the Houston Rockets beat the Golden State Warriors this year? Now, obviously, this is a question that won't be answered until sometime in May when it seems that these two teams are destined to hit each other in the Western Conference Finals. But I don't think anyone would disagree that it's a topic on most NBA fans' minds right now. The reason being is last night, the Rockets won their 16th straight game against Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and the OKC Thunder. They don't seem like they're slowing down anytime soon. They hit the 50 win mark as well. In fact, some have implied that this Rockets team might be the perfectly constructed team to beat the Warriors, the perfect team for this modern era. And James Harden, well, he doesn't really seem to disagree. Uh, we're so good offensively that every single night, uh, teams are going to just throw different coverages at us. And you just got to figure out ways to you know, attack them. Um, you know, tonight was no different. So. Once we found something, found something that we can go into, we, we, uh, we used it. Guys got open shots and, uh, you know, just ride that way about the entire game. And last night might just be a perfect example of how good the Rockets can be, because we all know how great James Harden has been, the leading candidate for MVP this year. But Chris Paul seems to have seemingly flown under the radar, which is crazy considering CP3 might just be one of the greatest point guards of all time in the history of the NBA. But listen, last night Chris Paul put up 25 points, five assists, and three steals in just 32 minutes on the floor. He shot five of six from three. As far as number two options go, when you look around the league, is there a better number two option than Chris Paul? I mean, maybe if you look in Golden State, but uh, Chris Paul, definitely one of the best. An added stat that might make you believe more in the Rockets comes courtesy of ESPN Stats and Info. It says that the Rockets, the Houston Rockets, are 33-1 and when James Harden, Chris Paul, and Clint Capella all play together. I know, right? Clint Capella, who would have thought he'd make that much of an impact, but apparently they're pretty darn good when those three are on the floor together. Now, as I've laid out briefly, there's a pretty compelling case to be made that the Rockets, this could be their year. They could be the team in the West to finally, finally dethrone the Golden State Warriors. But we all know the Warriors resume by now. Four NBA All-Star last month in LA. They're looking destined to have at least two guys, maybe three if Draymond or Clay makes it onto the all NBA team roster, including the all defense team roster. And despite all the hype that I'm giving and other people are giving to the Rockets who have won 16 in a row, the Warriors also hit 50 wins last night. They're neck and neck with the Rockets. And you know what? People seem to be thinking the Warriors are having a pedestrian season. Now I laid this video out, this topic out in uh, question form, because I'd love to know what you guys think. Remember to vote in the poll question if I remember to put it in here, but let me know in the comment section, can these Rockets, are they constructed well enough to beat the Warriors this year should they meet in the playoffs? Now me personally, I'll admit I'm a victim of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That old cliche. And in this case, it means nobody's beaten the Warriors in the West in the past three years. And the Warriors are just as good as they've been in past years. So I can't really believe it until I see it. Especially when you consider the 2016 Warriors, they beat the Thunder with Westbrook and Durant. Do you guys think that this year's Rockets team is better than that Thunder team? I don't know if that's true. And you got to consider that the Warriors now have Durant. It looks improbable from my perspective, but I definitely want to know what you guys think. If you believe in the Houston Rockets. Now switching lanes, I also wanted to touch today on two other Western Conference teams. Man, the Western Conference is good. Two other teams that are making waves led by their star players. The New Orleans Pelicans, of course, without DeMarcus Cousins, without Boogie, they've won nine straight games. You might not have heard that because uh, the Rockets win streak is so huge, but yeah, the Pels have won nine in a row. Now this win streak has vaulted the Pelicans right up the standings comfortably into a playoff spot in the West. It's also done wonders for Anthony Davis, who people are starting to think might snag that MVP away from James Harden. And there's no denying AD has been a crazy strong MVP candidate. Even though last night he had a bit of an injury scare, he was completely fine. And his play of late has been nothing short of dominant. Let me make sure I get these numbers right for you. 37.7 points per game, 14.6 rebounds, 2.9 steals, and 2.8 blocks all while shooting 53% from the field in the Pelicans' nine-game win streak. Bruh. And not to be overshadowed, AD has been phenomenal. Those numbers are off the charts, but Drew Holiday, the former 76er, has emerged as a legit number two option, playing so well alongside AD. When I say he's been that dude in this nine-game win streak, I'm not joking. He's put up 25 points and eight and a half assists per game, all while shooting 52% from the field. Folks, the Pelicans are for real. Imagine if they had DeMarcus Cousins. I don't know if they'll be able to do damage in the playoffs, but 
If they don't, we're all going to regret the fact that DeMarcus was injured because this team with AD and Drew looks like a real contender. And finally, the second team I want to touch on here, the Portland Trailblazers. They're on an eight game win streak. Like who is losing all these games? There's so many win streaks going on. And with those eight games in a row, they've won. The Trailblazers now sit 13 games above 500 comfortably again, like the Pels in a playoff spot right now in the Western Conference. And in those eight games, Damian Lillard has been flat out balling almost to the quality and caliber that Anthony Davis has been he's got some pretty good numbers as well 33 points per game and about six assists per game on 47 percent shooting and you know Damian Lillard he's been making big shots down the stretch CJ McCollum has also been a helping hand obviously but Damian really leading his team and like I mentioned the Trailblazers 13 games above 500 is Damian in the MVP conversation for me it looks like Harden then Anthony Davis or one of those two anyways and then everybody else is lagging behind but Damian certainly making a case and those are just some interesting NBA stories and threats that I was following last night and into this morning and it's clearly a great time to be an NBA fan man as we're heading down the stretch so many individual performances and team performances that are worth talking about and worth watching but let me know what you think are the Rockets a legitimate threat to the Warriors this year are they going to be able to beat them in the playoffs or hey do you think another one of these teams from the stacked west might upset either of those teams earlier in the playoffs like the pelicans or maybe even the trailblazers definitely let me know and let me know who you guys have down as your mvps right now is damian lillard in that conversation also i know this video was different style for me but i woke up feeling inspired to make this so if you enjoy and want to see more of these types of videos let me know i guess but that's all i got for this one guys